How's it going everyone? The PlayStation 5 getting a brand new system software and a beta is rolling out right now. This is one of the bigger system updates. So whenever we get one of these betas, this is a harbinger of things to come for others that are not a part of the beta program, but this will ultimately be rolled out uh, for everyone sometime in the future. This is a limited invite where they're going to be testing out a lot of the different features. Some things might change. Some things might be rolling out intermittently, like uh, a couple of these features might roll out in one update more and the other you guys get the idea but um this isn't one of your typical improved system stability uh or anything like that we get a lot of updates that are just system stability updates which in fact they do improve system stability i know some of you guys just meme on oh it just what, what are these updates no they do in fact improve system stability but yes the redundancy of those is sometimes like a little bit of a head scratcher but there's a lot of things rolling out, and this is a massive, massive update. The full rollout is planned for later in 2023 at this stage of the game. Things can always change when you're talking about a beta program and things of that nature, but this looks to be uh, the major PlayStation 5 system update for the latter half of the year. So... Let's go over everything. It's all noted in the PlayStation blog, so let's talk about it. New accessibility features, which this is something that I do have to give Sony a lot of credit for, that they've been really on the uh, eight ball in terms of creating content and creating updates and accessories that are very much a tailored towards accessibility and design choice to get people into gaming in general. This is somewhere that I feel like an aspect of gaming in general that I don't take notice of as much as I probably should, but you look at everything that they've offered in like Last of Us Part 1, God of War, uh, Ragnarok, they offer a lot of accessibility options. So right off the top, new accessibility features. Use a second controller for ex uh, assistance. You can now assign a second controller to one account as an assistant controller and use two controllers to operate your PlayStation 5 console as if you were using a single controller. This feature introduces a new way for you to enjoy games collaboratively with others or help a friend or child navigate a particularly challenging section of the game. To use an assist controller, go to settings, accessibility, controllers, use second controller for assistance, and then turn on use assist controller. You can use an assist controller when your main controller is a DualSense or DualSense Edge wireless controller or a PlayStation 5 supported third-party controller. I think this is a great addition. Like, I'm not a parent or anything like that but if you're a parent and you're trying to get uh your kid into gaming and you're trying to game together this can be something really effective and i really do appreciate it and obviously like a lot of you guys might have like a significant other you're trying to get into gaming and something like this can be uh you know a little bit beneficial just to create the accessibility outside of just you know accessibility in a certain regards like audio accessibility options and things like that uh controller accessibility option this uh offering a second controller i actually think can be pretty effective then you have system ui haptic feedback you now have the option to turn on haptic feedback effects while navigating your playstation 5 with your dual sense controller dual sense edge controller or a playstation vr2 sense controller when enabled systems sound effects for certain events will also be reflected physically through haptics such as moving focus reaching the end limit of a scrollable section checking a box or when you receive a notification or boot up a game this optional feature enhances immersion and is particularly useful for players with some level of sight or hearing disability who appreciate the additional feedback on their inputs to turn on this feature go to settings accessibility controllers and then turn on haptic feedback during console navigation support for compatible dolby enabled audio device 3d audio powered by tempest 3d audio tech can now be enjoyed by those who own compatible dolby enabled hdmi devices such as soundbars tvs or home theater systems tempest's 3d audio tech specifically renders to the dolby atmos audio devices in use including overhead channels allowing for greater levels of immersion in the audioscapes of playstation 5 games they go over how you can implement that as well. Social feature enhancements, party user interface update. You can now invite a player into a closed party without automatically adding the player into the group or creating a new group. Additionally, players can now send open or closed party invitations to groups instead of only individual players. Share screen preview. When someone's sharing their screen in a party, you can join. You'll now see a preview image of their share screen even before you enter the party. That's actually kind of nice. That's very similar to what happens in Discord. If someone's like streaming their screen, you'll see like a preview uh, image. So that's a nice addition. Join friends game sessions easily you can now easily see which of your friends are in activity you can join under the friends tab the joinable icon will be displayed next to friends who are playing a game you can join you can join a friends game directly by pressing the options button and selecting join game or by selecting the join button on their profile cup game uh, hub tournament style in the game hub you can now see how many tournaments you've entered and the highest a place you've achieved as well as start time for the next tournament you can select the tile to see the full tournament list as well react messages with emojis you can now add reactions to messages with emojis which 
which make, uh, makes communicating with friends quicker and easier. Ease of use features, search for games in your library. You can now search for games within your game library. Game help improvements, game help cards can uh, have been improved. In addition to in-progress activities, you can now see available, previously available, upcoming and completed activities. When a card is selected, its details are now displayed on the right side of the card, making it easier to find objectives and their corresponding hints. Discover new features, browse useful tips for getting the most out of your PlayStation 5 and learn about the, the new features in the new discovery tips section. Go to settings, guide tips, health and safety, and other information, guide and tips, and then discover tips to view all tips and mute PlayStation 5 beep sound. How about that? I know people have been waiting for that. You can now mute or adjust the volume of the PlayStation 5's beep sound when turning it on or off or putting it in rest mode. Go to settings, systems, beep sound to adjust the beep sound uh, volume, select volume to mute the beep sound, turn on mute beep, uh, beep sound, and then also, finally, a major one, support for larger capacity M2 SSDs. You can now use M2 SSDs with a maximum capacity of 8 terabytes. That is, in fact, up from the previous 4 terabyte limit to expand storage space on your PS5 console. Now, to get an, um, to get an 8 terabyte storage device, that's going to be a little bit pricey, so keep that in mind. M2 SSDs must meet the requirements outlined on the page that they have linked. Please read the link page carefully before purchasing any M2 SSDs for use with your PlayStation 5. So there you go. This is a robust lineup of additional features that will be rolling out for PlayStation 5. Again, beta invites are rolling out right now. The full suite of features will hopefully drop in the fall of this year. Remember that if you are in the beta program, there's going to be issues here and there, and uh, you know it's not going to be completely fine-tuned, so keep that in mind whenever you do join uh, one of these beta programs. And limited invites are being sent out, so if you didn't get one, like it's not that it's not the end of the world. But um, a lot of nice features rolling out, and again, this is more so one of the major tentpole updates. That's what you generally get with uh, the PS5 system updates. You get these like tentpole major updates, usually attached to a 7.5 8.0 update you know with the numerical value and then you do get those uh software stability updates and things of that nature that are smaller updates but still uh do help the overall performance so Nice to see another uh, major milestone update like this being rolled out. I would imagine that earliest you guys are going to be getting your hands on an update like this for the full rollout. Probably October, November. I would imagine that this would be something that they would want to coincide with the release of the holiday uh, bundles. You know, the Spider-Man bundle, everything like that, and the holiday slate of games coming out. Roll out a major update like this and get this out before Christmas as well. Uh, that would be ideal case scenario. I'm sure that's what Sony is thinking about. But that is going to do it for me Again, a lot of updates rolling out for PlayStation 5 console owners. And uh, again, it'll be in beta for now, but the full suite of updates will be rolling out later into 2023. At least that is the hope right now. Sometimes things can get, can get pushed back, especially something in a beta program. But that'll do it for me. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Sound off there. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.